And now from uh, Congressional District 2 in the great state of Texas, combat veteran, Navy SEAL, and the next chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, our friend Dan Crenshaw. Judy Chippers, well, thank you for showing leadership and uh, bringing us all together on this. You know, we all we all heard uh, this week when uh, Joe Biden almost went to the border, went to Border State in Arizona, and people asked why he went to visit the border, and he said, well, there's more important things to do. So we're all left wondering what's more important. Is our is our sovereignty as a nation not important? Is 80,000 deaths a year from fentanyl prices not important? Is Raul Gonzalez and his two kids not important? And Border Patrol finds themselves asking, why is he even taking these risks? Why does Border Patrol go out day after day after day just to be nannies and bus drivers and babysitters, not able to actually do their jobs because this administration will not enforce the laws that are on the books. They don't seem to care about what Border Patrol goes through. They don't seem to care about what our border counties go through. According to Joe Biden, none of this is important enough. What is important is at least eight public visits to get ice cream. That is that is apparently what this person prioritizes. And, and then they have the nerve to call situations like this, or when we go visit the border, they call them political stunts. I said the other day the Republicans have no plan. But they just want political stunts. But we have a plan. We have a very detailed plan. Movement to America is a very detailed plan. This is a very detailed plan. The Texas plan will work. It will fix our problem on the border. I can talk about just a few of the solutions that, that I put in personally that would fix this problem. It's fixing our asylum loopholes. We have legislation that would do that. It's fixing the flawed Flores case settlement. We have legislation that would do that. It's actually recognizing the threat posed by the cartels. We have legislation that recognizes that, declaring war on the Cartels Act. We have legislation that would help boost Border Patrol morale by giving them retention bonuses and incentive pay to work in the harsh conditions that they're working on the southern border. We actually do have solutions, that I would tell this administration, that claims we do not. And they spit in our face, they spit in the face of the American people, they spit in the face of the Border Patrol agents that risk their lives every day by telling us that this is just a political stunt and that none of it matters. We say differently and we have a very direct and simple plan to stop it. And I hope Democrats will work with us on it. I hope Democrats will recognize that we have a common enemy in the cartels that are flooding and, and lacing street drugs with fentanyl and poisoning Americans in the tune of nearly 80,000 dead per year. I hope they will. I'm going to get them to try. I'm proud to stand with my Texas delegation um, to deliver that message.